Hey, this is Charlie from Charlie's Awesome World of Adventures and today I'm going to give you my review on Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie. The, in in this world, and a boy from the future named Casey Jack arms come arms to the, the present to warn, warn the turtles about this kid that uh, releases the alien, alien species she's known as the crack. And when they was finally re released, it's with the turtles first fight with them that they're able to capture Ralph. Uh, so it's up to the to prove if if to everyone and he, and that he will be a great sensei. Say when and they I and take he to save a Ralph and stop the crime. So when it comes to my thoughts on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, to, oh, I'm going to start off by saying I'm not really a huge fan. No, I have nothing, and I mean nothing against the show. I've had my few, few moments with it. Like, I think I remember watching a few episodes of the 2012 series, and I did, did get the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Thomas Mint, in his, in his a while back. So this review will be coming from the perspective of a newcomer to not just Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, tools, but the entire franchise as well. Oh. <sighs> so fun. And I can hardly say hey, that, uh, that this supposed to be the finale the of the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles so it's something that I'm sure will bring new fans in really well oh, oh let's begin with the characters because as this movie does work well as a standalone feature the characters do to play a good job of to introduce audience <laughs> Is to the personality of the friendship. We've got oh, Liam, Leo, who's the, who's the lead, he then rules the tournament of the group. My Ike, the fun goofball of. Oh, oh, don't, 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 the smart arts and brains of the crew. Oh, and, and, uh, after the most protective of the crew, and the one who's, and who uh, has the biggest rage problems. However, we'll, we'll probably disappoint fans that, that, that you don't focus on other titles like, like Donnie and Mikey as much as you, you think they would. The ones that they they do want to focus on are the ones they give the most time to. This is especially the case with Leonardo. So, well, when he finds out oh, that he's going to be a great sensei in the future, he wants to do everything he can to live up to that name. However, that also means being selfish and taking and putting his needs before. Or anyone else. Oh. Else, as the film will go on, you would want to help re relate to Leo to see how he will fix his mistake. I realise teamwork will be the thing to save the day. Hey, this is mainly shown by his big brother, Raph. Ah, yeah. Oh, as, as the oldest of the turtles, turtles he is very protective of his, of his brothers but, and wants to look after after them at um, any cost. Oh, in fact, he get, he's not, gets angry at Leo not because of jealousy or anything, it, but because as he wants to make sure his, his little brother other is okay. As for the rest of the recurring actors from the franchise, well, it honestly depends on who you're focusing on. 
on someone. Uh, unlock the crumb. And can be, be actually pretty interesting. I think I think as a great threat to civilization, while others like Splinter and April or Neil are just put up on to the side for gag purposes. But then there's Casey Jones, the boy from the few in, in intro. So, and who knows the most about this kid? Honestly, Dave, I can't see what the film was trying to do with them. But it, but it really does put the time travel element to the side in order to focus more on Leo and the turtles. But at least, even if some characters aren't there, their voice actors are, sh are definitely not. They do show true passion to their performance it is bringing these characters to love in new ways than one um, and next there's the story and I'm gonna go up and say is that not only does it work also an introduction to the show but it works well as an introduction to newcomers to the entire franchise. It really does uh, us work well as a standalone film, but making it about a big threat and with the possible end of the world. Oh, where well, the clan have invaded the sea, and it's up to the titles in order to stop them. Uh, with their great team. With the great team of the turtles, also the movie really offers the elements to me. At breaks teenage movies with turtles to such a great, great franchise, it has the action, action put some suspenseful moments in, and give viewers a great time. I it's got the heart to show the relationship, relationship with the characters. Especially with Leo and Raph, and and, and the hu humour. My word knows it's a silly idea, and it just plays along with it. Also, while it doesn't really focus too much on this, arch on this, I actually think the time travel narrative was handled really well. Oh, despite only taking a small portion of the movie, it does go deep, even into how the law, the, the work, acts, and how Kate AC was able to come on from the future. <coughs> uh, well, I also really like about the <coughs> out the store. Or it is how it also takes time to <laughs> on one certain element. It doesn't, it doesn't rush from one thing to another that quickly. It knows, knows what it has to do. It, <coughs> and it manages to do, and take those elements one at a time. If I did have to nitpick something with the story, Right, is is that its transition from the second to third act uh, felt a bit rushed. Now all three acts of this movie are great, but it feels like it goes on to the third act too quickly. Well, is the second act not really having been much much focus? Honestly, it's only an extra like ten minutes, and it's, it would probably not be an issue. And then, and then there's the movie and animation, which is, is what got me to, to check this movie out in the first place. And you, usually I put the substance of the start. However, as much as I still do it with this film, um, I can't lie and say this, that the animation looks awesome. Seriously, there are so many great elements it works with. The designs have a have a new modern look to them to show 
old our tools tools in a new way. And the curve for animation is highly speedy and creative. It used to work. Our quick Oh god Sorry for that. The cat as I was saying, the cat anime works well to be speedy. <laughs> I know which one it has to suck. Oh damn, out for the car at the moment. And and add the backgrounds too. It should also not ice plate. Her aces around at the city, whether it be either dark pots or ice. Uh, it's all the main city itself. Elf, but the but the true highlights of the animation and what makes this movie a spectacle to watch are the action scenes. It's where the turtles would have to do all they can to stop the ground. This is what as you and the team focused on the most to make them the most exciting moments to bring to bring newcomers into the franchise. I then have them enjoy it. Yeah, especially offering an, an intense and exciting climax. So overall, for even though this is my first time with the tassels, tools technically, I'm not a bit. It, it was a great first time. Rather than the Teenage Mutant Ninja Titles, the movie is a, is a, is a highly cool. The enjoyable animated feature. Sure. Uh, uh, and a great tribute to the top of legacy. Eat well. All this t uh, well, it do does quickly try to transition to the set from the center to throw that like a bit too quickly. It does make up for it with a high engaging story. Re phenomenal animation, intense action scenes. It's memorable character as I put in all the elements that walk to make a good teenage recent Ninja Turtles movie together ever in an exciting way. Hey hey honestly I think it's safe to say hey, that fan I'm surprised as a teenage recent ninja turtles will be the ones that will get the most out of it. However, I don't just recommend this for or fans of of the franchise. I have not yet seen Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles but uh, even people who, people who haven't watched anything Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles related, they'll, they'll also have a great time with this movie. The as much that's just the old audience does. As, 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 the, and that's probably the thing I love about this movie. It didn't just go for one target audience and stuck with it. It managed to make it it's some something for everyone. And I think it did, it did that well enough to get a rating of a 9 out of 10. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!